This lesson is on comparing ratios. In a foods class, group A is making a cake with a 4 to 3 sugar to butter ratio, while group B is using a 7 to 5 sugar to butter ratio. Which group is making a cake with a higher concentration of sugar when compared to butter? So the math question becomes, how do we go about comparing a 4 to 3 ratio with a 7 to 5 ratio? Since we are wanting to compare the amount of sugar, it would be very useful for us to make the amount of butter the same for both ratios. One way to do this is to find the lowest common multiple for the amount of butter. So we would take the 3 and the 5 and find multiples. What is the lowest common multiple for 3 and 5? 15. So now we will take that lowest common multiple and decide what we need to multiply the left and right side of the ratio by to come up with this value. Let's start with group A. We have a 4 to 3 ratio. Now we're going to make an equivalent ratio by changing that 3 to 15. So we're going to need to multiply both sides of the ratio by 5, making an equivalent ratio of 20 to 15. We will now do the same thing with group B. It had a 7 to 5 ratio, so to make that number 5 a 15, we are going to multiply both sides by 3, making an equivalent ratio of 21 to 15. Now we can compare the two groups and see which one has a higher concentration of sugar. Group B is using more sugar when compared to butter. Another way to answer this problem is to use something called unit ratios. In this case, we will need to make the second term or the butter term of the ratio equal to 1. We'll start with group A. What do we need to do with the amount of butter, the 3, to make it equal to 1? In this case, we're going to divide by 3. And to make an equivalent ratio, we also need to divide the left side of the ratio by 3 as well. This will give us a decimal answer of 1.3 repeating compared to 1. Let's go try this for group B. To make the 5 a 1 and to keep an equivalent ratio, we are going to divide both sides of the ratio by 5, giving us a 1.4 to 1 ratio. Again, because that second term is the same, it is easy to see that group B is using more sugar when compared to butter.